I had $300,000 NT dollars in student loans. Two years after graduation, I still owe $280,000 NT dollars. Sandy, a recent graduate in Taiwan, has been struggling to make headway on her student loans, despite working diligently and saving as much as possible. Like many young adults in Taiwan, she is feeling overwhelmed by rising living costs, soaring inflation, and high interest rates. According to the Ministry of Education, the MOE, approximately 730,000 people in Taiwan are burdened by student loans, yet the terms for obtaining a loan have not been updated in over a decade. The student loan terms have remained unchanged for 16 years, which is no longer suitable in the current economic situation marked by inflation. Although student loan holders get an eight-year respite period, it only covers the interest rates and not the principal balance, causing further delays in deferring today's problems to tomorrow. Currently, the requirements state that only those from low-income or lower-middle-income households earning less than 1.2 million NT dollars annually are eligible to apply, leaving out those who fall just outside the criteria but still lack the means to pay for higher education fees. In contrast, a 2022 policy in the United States allows families with yearly income below 125,000 U.S. dollars to waive up to 20,000 U.S. dollars of student loan debt, equivalent to around 610,000 NT dollars. We will review student loan applications in the future and make adjustments to payment methods and timeframes as necessary. This includes evaluating the possibility of reducing application requirements and the annual income threshold for principal and interest deferral. With wage increases falling far behind the rising cost of daily necessities, the MOE has pledged to ease the financial burden on young adults by adjusting student loan application and repayment thresholds. Wu Kuiyan, Chen Wenyue, Vivian Xiao, TVBS, World Taiwan.